warning tonight about a flesh eating bacteria common to Louisiana waterways. It's called Vibrio vulnificus. It's found in warm water and can cause illness in people who eat colonized seafood or enter the water with an open wound. Every year, Louisiana sees 10 to 15 cases. And as Josh many reports, that includes cases here in Acadiana. His story new tonight at 6. It's mostly caught by an open wound in the water. Fishermen are real accessible to catching it. They get open wounds, especially like the crab fishermen. If you get a crab cage just rusted and broke up and it cuts you, I've known fishermen to catch it. Preston Dore is familiar with Vibrio vonificus. One of his fellow fishermen died from the flesh-eating bacteria. He had got cut from a crab trap and it got infected and he eventually lost his hand and uh, the way I understand he eventually died from it. The bacteria isn't keeping Dore off the water, but it forces him to be aware of his surroundings and forces him to be vigilant. Definitely, any time you get open wound, I mean, you're very leery, especially as a fisherman, because you're messing with a lot of stuff in the waters, debris and stuff. We catch a lot of trash in the water, and it's very easy to get cut. Vibrio vonificus is the same family as cholera. It naturally occurs in seawater everywhere. That's why Dore takes precautions every time he goes on the water. Well, I mean, we use peroxide mostly. We like to wash our hands after we're fishing. We'll take and use bleach water. We'll soak our gloves in it, and clean them out, dry them, make sure it kills everything, and something to wrap it. Like if you have a cut, you can wrap it like in a saran wrap after you treat it just to keep the water and other stuff out of it. In Delcom, Josh Benny, KTC TV3. And if you do get cut while out on the water, doctors recommend you get checked out immediately after getting back on shore. State health officials want you to get your flu 